Our next speaker is none other than the Commissioner of Police, Dr. Satipal Singh. Thank you. Honorable Dr. Tahir Kadriji, all the distinguished panelists today, Pujya Swami Chidanandji Maharaj, Dr. Ved Prataji Vedic, Father Cardinal Gracious, Sardar Tarlochan Singh Ji, Dr. Bhadant Anand Mahatheru, Sadvi Bhagwati Ji, and Dastur Ji Khursi Ji, Dr. Sudhir Kulkarni Ji and Dr. Rafiq Khan and all the participants here. At the outset, I'm grateful to Dr. Kulkarni for inviting me here because I don't re represent any religion here. I represent the unity of religions. I represent the harmony of religions. My uniform represents the harmony of religions. In police department, we come from all religions. But once we don this uniform, we forget the religions and faith. So if we want to really learn what could be the harmony, what could be the essential unity of religions, I think we must learn from the police. See, everybody, perhaps everybody in the world, likes and loves beauty. Everyone likes, loves beauty. Anybody who loves beauty, he or she must understand that beauty lies in diversity. If there is no diversity, there is no beauty. So we have to understand and accept the fundamentals of nature that we have to believe in diversity. No two faces can be same. No two voices can be the same. No two skins can be the same. Therefore, our faith has to be different. Our thoughts have to be different. But just as in the nature, there is diversity, but there is essential unity and similarity also. We have different signatures of God in everyone, but our faces are almost same, almost like. Everybody learns from childhood to the death. It is only the human being that all these whole kinds of these uh, the committees and meetings and the schools and colleges, everything is made only for the man. Essentially, their requirements are the same. Their pains and pleasures are the same. Anybody, irrespective of the religion, irrespective of the faith, if somebody is afflicted with cancer, treatment is the same. Treatment is the same. If you are suffering with sugar or diabetes, treatment is almost the same. Pain, why do we become the religious? Why do we go to mosque and mandir and temple? We want to relieve our pain. Essentially, religion is pain reliever. Essentially, religion is pain reliever. While treating different kind of the ailment, different kind of diseases, when treatment is the same, pain reliever is the same, when humanity is the same, mankind is the same, how can we have different religions? That is the biggest challenge, the biggest question before us. Truth cannot be different. Truth is only one. That is why we call, there is a difference between religion and dharm. Religion can be different. Hundreds of religions in the world. 
but dharma is essentially one because mankind is one pain relief is one we have only one chemist in the whole world one physics in the whole world one male architect in the whole world one medical science in the whole world then how can we have different religions we must have the same essentially which can give relief to mankind or man is the real and true religion therefore the need today is i was telling some people keep on claiming oh my religion is new my religion is the best religion in the world it is the only revealed religion in the world i ask two basic questions who believe in this kind of the ideology that my religion is only the best religion only revealed by the god it poses two questions number one question is suppose your religion or my religion is started about 500 years back 100 years back there are new religions new religions taking place in this country even in the whole world there are hundreds of religion hundreds of faith but this mankind is on the globe for millions of years it means if your religion was created or born about suppose 5000 years back or 500 years back it means millions of people billions of people who were born and died before your religion revealed religion came on the earth god has been very unkind to them god has been very unjust to them but god cannot be unjust to anybody god cannot be unfair to anyone so it doesn't hold good second question come ha ah, this is possibility come ji what is the possibility second possibility is just like man god was also gaining experience he was gaining experience maturity when he became very mature when he became very confident of himself oh now i have i have got the finest form of the religion i started now do you believe that that god was immature god was inexperienced so he was also gaining experience like a man it cannot be true that is why the true religion the true dharma started with the advent of man on earth and unless we believe this fact unless he dr tahir kadri was telling that we must try to find out the truth we must try to promote the truth we must establish the truth or we must accept the truth so this is the truth we should discuss about it everybody say, nothing is new in this world nothing is new in this body every atom started from the new world this old one the world is not new no religion can claim that they are the absolutely new they did not learn anything from the old religions no nothing it just cannot be true everything comes from the old we learn from the old we learn from the four fathers might be millions of years old then the question comes ah, who is the real secular today there is a, there is a debate going on this world they are, he, this fellow is communal this fellow is secular this fellow is this religious i believe that the real secular person is who is that, that man who is ready who can appreciate others at the same time who is ready to accept the criticism of his own or her belief if you are not ready to accept the criticism of your own thinking on your belief you cannot be truly secular so what i wanted to tell you today we have the political alliance age of political alliance different political parties come together to run the government can't we have the common minimum program among all the religions among all the faith what is essential what is true what is common to all religions the values are common every religion promotes truth 
Every religion is against this, uh, this uh, stealing. Every religion promotes that we must respect our seniors, our elders. All these essential values, let us admit it, they are the commonality. They are the essential thing. Many times I keep on telling, if we, many of us, they promote non-essential things, not the essential things. And I'm sorry to say, you will like, excuse me for this. Many of the religious leaders, many of the religious leaders, they promote non-essential things, not the essential things. See, whether I put on a cap or not, it is not very material. Whether I put on a long kurta or chota kurta, whether I put on a pant or not, it doesn't matter to me. Whether you eat non-veg or vegetarian, it is your personal belief. But you require food. You require a dress. Essential thing is the dress. Essential thing is the food. Essential thing is, can we, can, we, can we divide that this bhaji, this vegetable, it belongs to Muslims, it belongs to uh, Hindus, it belongs to Christians, because we, uh, the bhaji is essential to our food. Can we distribute, can we divide our chawal, our gehu, our milk on the basis of religion? Can we, can we this, uh, have this kind of the division in the air? No, we cannot have, because air is essential to my life. Learning is essential to my life. We cannot even discriminate on the uh, petrol and diesel. Much of the diesel and petrol which comes to India, we uh, the import from outside. Can we say, no, 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 I will not put up this, this fill in this petrol and diesel to my, in my car. No, because diesel and red, it, it runs our car. These are the essential things. We fight on non-essential things. We cannot fight on essential things. This requirement today is, need of the hour today is, let us accept the essentials. You know, grain and husk. Husks are meant only to preserve the seeds, not to eat and assimilate. Not to eat and assimilate. Grain is there only to assimilate. Cows can be of different colors, but milk is the same. That is why Dr. Kadri was telling violence, terrorism, hate, everything starts with the mind. Everything starts with the mind. Why does it start? Bhedat bhayam. When there is a bhed, when there is a difference, you are different, I am different, it creates fear in mind. Let us fight the fear. We are essentially one. If there is no fear, fear leads to intolerance. Intolerance leads to violence. An extreme form of violence becomes a terrorism. That is why there is a need to impact the mind. And where do we have the factories and works of mind? I call it schools and colleges. Schools and colleges. Not the adult fellows like us. That is why if we really want to fight terror, ter 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 terrorism, if you really want to fight the intolerance in the society, let us go to the college and the schools. In grain on our children, that essentially human being is one. We cannot devise this human mankind on the basis of caste and greed and color. We are essentially one. And we all really want peace. That is why Thousands of years before, when this question was asked to Maharshi Vyas, Ved Vyas, who wrote Mahabharat, Father, he mentioned, Islok Ardhen Pravakshyami, in half a line, half a line, Yaduktam Granta Kotivi, what is given? The sum substance of all the millions of the books in the world. What is the sum substance? What I don't like for myself, don't do to others. This is the real religion. This is the true religion. This is the dharma. What we don't expect 
for our, ourselves, we should not do to others. Everybody wants respect. Everybody wants that nobody should hurt me. Let us be truly religious. If we are truly religious, truly spiritual, I think peace will dawn, harmony will dawn on the society. With these words, I am really again grateful to Dr. Sudhir Kalli, Dr. Fee Khan for giving me this opportunity, for saying my views. Thank you very much. God bless you.